interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face, pushes forward. He gets to the clinch, loves the single leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip, getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always... underway and when we sat down with him on Thursday he understood the grappling challenge he was up against and he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight it's a danger that is not worth risking it is something that you don't want to play with this grappler is that good when this fight gets to the ground you enter his world especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the field. just out of the range with that right hand what a tricky head kick all right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. These guys throwing early. Adam working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. in the single collar tie. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Just misses with the right. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Shore. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Went for the inside leg kick. How about that shin? Throwing that jab, no good. Shot is blocked there by Chor. Just out of range with that right hand. And that left hook landed on the button. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big kick. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful 
strike. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. It's okay, keep going. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Good stick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Throws the right hand there. Barrow's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Beautiful leg kick moves. He blocks the punch. Able to work it into the takedown. Pretty good right hand. You see him put himself into the half guard. Like the control, yep. Right now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Second round underway. Big leg kick land. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Right under the elbow, the body can land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, damaging knee to the head. We got to fight, folks. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the Thai clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Well, oh! No! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and... I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a baller, though. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, nice jab. Oh, Barrow's lower jaw is just nasty this point really swollen in that area now and they separate well he has really picked up the pace here in round two much more aggressive than we saw in round one and now starting to find himself in the pocket 
big call from Punch Lance. Now he gets back to range. Superman Punch. Oh, sir! Korean Super Bowl. Spinning back fist is there. Flush right hand is true. Connects with a right. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice combination there by Burrell. Just out of range with that right hook. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice punch here. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Ooh, what a punch. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Beautiful punch. Nice, sneaky head Oh, kick. good kicks. <laughs> Lands flush with that right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Try to establish that jab. Well, looked like the overhand counter landed. Nice punch there by Joy. Good punch, Lance. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Leg kick. Right hand on point. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Good punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike he can throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 
there trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Nice hammer fist. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, he's got his back now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the road. He's, He's hurt bad. Oh, oh, Rosa, oh, oh. Knee to the body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Just misses there with the left. Oh, straight right. Head kick lands. Oh, that's a nice strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Zarao gets hit by that leg kick. Before the end of the round, he lands an absolutely huge shot to drop his opponent. The referee wisely jumps in furiously to stop the fight. How about it? He catches the other guy just at the end of the round. Maybe his opponent was looking forward to the stool in the next round. Now he won't see it. What a result here tonight.